And my first question to you, Chris, is have you ever been here before? I've never been to Comic-Con before, and I feel like this won't be a regular Comic-Con experience no. since the Twilight fans are out in force. Um, and I really, really what I want to do is slip under the radar and, and, and geek out for about an hour at the end of the day, which is what I'll do. The problem is, though, you under the radar is right now before your panel. As soon as you have your panel, there may not be any more under the radar. Ah, but there is a, <laughs> there's a nefarious plan because they're showing Twilight again. Uh, this this evening, I think it'll uh -huh. suck up all the Twi fans, and they'll be able to kind of mingle okay. amongst my fellow geeks undetected. Hopefully, <laughs> both Kristen and Rob, you guys talked about in the press conference how much you love New Moon, and that's your favorite book of the series. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit more why that's the one that really does it for you? For me, just because it was the most challenging. I mean, um, not that not that they're ever at ease. The relationship is always sort of strained. It was just like sort of the lowest point in the series and and also like at, at the end of that it's absolutely the most heightened. I mean that the, the scene where we sort of forgive each other and get back together, it happens within, I mean it happens in 10 seconds and like no talk, you don't, we don't even need to talk about it. It's just, it's just, it was, it was like the, the one that affected me the most. I hadn't read the book before the idea of, of doing the film came up. I just love the cast. I think they're very talented young actors. And then when I read the book, you can really see the kind of archetypal uh, longing that it embodies. Mm -hmm. um, and having been uh, broken up with so many times in my life, I felt I could really identify with Bella. <laughs> my sort of opinion of the whole series, the relationship between Edward and Bella, I mean, I always saw it as... Um, you know, the thing which I was relating to, the thing which I was kind of trying to draw from was, uh, you know, when you're a guy and you find yourself becoming or, or being so in love with someone, what? You're on a roll, I think you should keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you had a really bit, two big issues to deal with. You had one, uh, Jacob transforming into a werewolf. Mm. Uh, was that a challenge to, to tackle? Hard for Taylor, uh -huh. really hard for Taylor to become a werewolf. <laughs> so we had to, eventually had to resort to computer effects. Mm, okay. um, no, I mean the challenge with that is is to um, is to get a special effect that isn't cheesy and mm -hmm. and that's that's elegantly done. Mm -hmm. And Phil Tippett Studios, Phil Tippett being a legend in the effects community, is handling it and they're doing a beautiful job. Uh -huh. And Taylor, you had a lot of work to do in this movie. You had to bulk up we're really big we all know about that but you also spent a lot of time doing a lot of stunts and things like that too yeah yeah it was a lot of fun i actually <laughs> i almost got to do all of my own stunts <laughs> um, you tried right mm -hmm, which was fun um i got to do all of the dirt bike riding there was so much of that just kidding <laughs> no um but yeah I, I got to like practice dirt bike riding and do that i got to do a few other things <laughs> <laughs> He, like, catapulted himself into a window. It was really impressive. It was fun. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. insane. Yeah. So like, it was something a stunt, a stunt guy really actually should have done. Um, <laughs> you find yourself, like, in love with in love with someone or something, and, <laughs> um, and, you know, it becomes, you start, you start to see too it's much of yourself. You become too aware of yourself. Shut up! <laughs> God. Um, yeah, and, 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 it's, it's, and, and then you, and he, and it starts to, um, I, can't, I can't concentrate anymore. It's, 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 <laughs> you get so obsessed with the fact that you think you're not good enough because you think the other, you keep elevating the other person mm -hmm. higher and higher. Neither and of them think they're worthy. But Bella's the one who can like handle her stuff and, and Edward is just an idiot. And, and New Moon is like, it's the only time where he, in Twilight he can think in these absolute <laughs> <laughs> this is why I never. This is why whenever anyone asks about if we have chemistry with the cars, it's not. It's, do you know what it is? It's like complete animosity. Yeah. Right. <laughs>